Back in September 2020, I bought the Canon EOS 5. It's a 35mm film camera with an EF mount. A camera like this is perfect for someone like me who has a DSLR and a bunch of different Canon EF lenses. I managed to pick this up for about £56, which quite honestly is remarkable given what this camera can do. I'm going to preface this video by saying that it is in no way a review. I'm not going to go in depth about this camera. This video is more about just showing you my first roll and just giving you some general thoughts and opinions. Now I only really started shooting film more seriously last year and I have so much to learn. And I don't really count shooting disposables as a kid as shooting film, but I think back then I wasn't really thinking about compositions, I wasn't really thinking about anything to do with how film stock works or anything like that. Although I will say that shooting with disposables is pretty fun and I plan to do a video in the future about that. So a few little spec things. The Canon EOS 5 or the A2 as it was known in the US is a 35mm full frame SLR. It auto loads your film, auto detects your film's ISO and has 5 point autofocus. Lots of auto stuff if you want to just get out and shoot, which is great. Now unlike film cameras like the Canon AE1, which I have just behind me, the EOS 5 definitely has a more modern look and looks more like my 5D Mark III than vintage film cameras. I can put pretty much any EF lens on this from my 50mm 1.4 all the way to my 24-70 f4 and get brilliant results, all on 35mm film. Now you won't get the same look and feel as vintage SLR glass, but you could put FD lenses on this and get a similar result. So this camera has five autofocus points and you can either use them all and it does a sort of average or you can select one of the different five points. Now I found this pretty hit and miss and sometimes it was really good, sometimes it took a while and I ended up just manually focusing and that was easier for me, but generally the autofocus is pretty fast and quite good with the modern Canon lenses. The build quality of this camera is definitely more budget feeling than the AE1 for example which is pretty much all metal. As I said this does feel like more modern cheaper DSLRs than it does a vintage film camera. But the one advantage is that the EOS 5 is really lightweight and it's quite nice to hold as well the grip is really quite good. So the first ever roll of film I put into this camera was Kodak Gold 200 so let's take a look at some of those photos that I got. So there's some of the photos that I got with the EOS 5. The one thing I really love about this camera is just how easy it is to use. Now I do tend to primarily shoot digital, so in my camera bag I'll usually have my 5D Mark III, which means that I'll have a variety of my lenses. I currently have a roll of film in the EOS 5, which has a few portraits and landscapes on that I'm really excited to actually get developed. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll be able to see those when I post them. So you've seen some photos from my first ever roll, that's pretty much it for this video, just kind of going over a few pros and cons of my personal opinion of the camera and also looking at some of my photos. If you have any questions about the camera, feel free to leave a comment down below and hopefully this year I will be doing more film photography as we're allowed back outside again and I can actually put these cameras to the test. But for a camera that costs under £60, I am really happy with this. And if you're someone looking at getting into film photography, this could be a great affordable way of doing so. So that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.